Good morning, ESM. I'm Isabel. And I'm Bennett. And after we go to news and announcements, we will be discussing the coronavirus and ways to prevent from getting it. A car crash on Syracuse Northside led to the fatality of an 18-year-old student, Jarrett Wells. Happening around 12.30 p.m., the sedan and the SUV collided on the intersection of Carbon Street and Court Street. Police arrived to the scene, and the investigation of the cause is still unknown. The condition is still of the passengers are unknown. The Syracuse Police Department has made an arrest following an attempted kidnap of the nine-year-old girl. The girl has been waiting for her to bus, and a man approached her, grabbed her jacket, and pulled out a knife. Luckily, the girl was able to get away immediately and reported the incident to her parents. 30-year-old Darnell Williams is facing four different charges. Syracuse police are using this unfortunate event to remind everyone to be cautious whenever taking to strangers. Send always a report of suspicious activity. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Variety Show will meet me meeting this week, Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Come down if you want to be a part of it. Also, if you have any videos or photos that you want to be a part of the Senior Slideshow, email them to SeniorVarietyShow at ESMSchools.org. Class of 2020 OCC Advantage participants need to arrive tomorrow by 8.15. You are to meet Ms. Killens in the Hall of Fame for the OCC trip. If you haven't turned in your permission, permission slip, it needs to be turned into the main office by the end of the day today. The weight room will be closed Wednesday. Enjoy your day off for the staff day. See Coach Esch with any questions. Now I know everyone kind of knows the general idea of what the coronavirus is and how fast it's been spreading worldwide. We feel like everyone is making this a way bigger deal than it should be. According to President Donald Trump's Twitter on Thursday, there are only 129 cases and 11 deaths in the U.S. alone. Now, these numbers may seem scary, but the U.S. is very prepared for situations like these. And according to the New York Times, they say, with its top-notch scientists, modern hospitals, and sprawling public health infrastructure, most experts agree the United States is among the countries best prepared to prevent or manage such an epidemic event. Though we all have a very small chance of getting it, this virus, can st we can still get it. So next, we will be talking about ways to prevent getting sick or catching the virus and how to prevent spreading it. But first, let's go to weather with Emily. Morning. Today we'll have a warm high of 62 degrees with sun and clouds. Tomorrow will turn into rain and cool down to 52 degrees. Wednesday will cool down even more to 43 degrees and the rain might turn into snow. Thursday will clear up while Friday should have some snow shower, some showers again. Saturday and Sunday will have sun and clouds and highs in the low 40s. I'm Emily with your weather. Now there are many simple ways to prevent the spread of sicknesses and germs. One of the most simple ones that everyone should already be doing is that if you are sick, do not come to school. And we think that if you don't come to school, you will be missing out on classes, but really you are doing everyone a favor and not getting everyone else sick. And another thing that people should all be doing is washing your hands constantly. You come in contact with 152,000 germs at school every day, so sanitizing your hands after school can help prevent the chance of you getting sick. Now let's go to David with sports. The ESM Unified Bowling Team defeated Chittenango 7-2 last week. The SU men's basketball team lost to Miami on Saturday in overtime, 69-65. Dolajai had 17 points in the game. Number one seed Syracuse men's lacrosse remains undefeated after a 15-9 win against John Hopkins. Stephen Rafus led the team with assists with seven, and Chase Scanlon led the team with goals with five. The Lakers beat the Clippers yesterday 112-103 to improve to 49-13, which makes them top of the Western Conference. Anthony Davis led the team with 30 points, and LeBron James had 28. Paul George led the Clippers with 31 points. I'm David with your sports.
Hopefully you now realize what little of a chance you have of getting the coronavirus and ways to prevent getting it. So from me, Isabel, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.